Leonardo da Vinci. He is as the greatest genius of all times. He was a mathematician, a scientist, an engineer, an artist, sculptor, a cartographer, an astronomer, and an inventor, and so much more. He was a man who was ahead of his time and lovingly called as the Renaissance man. And the list is long, right from designing and drafting the flying machines and inventing new ideas like the water system and conceptualizing some marvelous ideas, Leonardo's drawing of the aerial screw is very much similar to the modern day flying machines and helicopters. Now Leonardo was a polymath and one of the most diversely talented man of all times. He was not only an astute artist who painted the Mona Lisa, the Last Supper. The Vitruvian Man is the study of ideal proportions of a human body. It demonstrates the blend of mathematics and art. Leonardo had the curiosity to observe and imagine. His detailed sketches had a profound artistry, be it in the folds of a drape or the anatomy of a human body or the inventions that he was obsessed with. Now doodling and maintaining a journal is a great idea to structure your thoughts and to amplify your creative quotient. Leonardo often used doodling and freehand designs and drawings to discover new ideas. Now this is a technique that worked well for him. Doodling is an interesting method that captures the ideas that can be lying hidden in your subconscious mind. And it could be a tool to unlock the secret archives that are often stored in the depths of our mind. And all one needs is a simple pen or a pencil to conceive and to improvise your ideas on paper. The lines, the shapes, the symbols and the words involved in the process of doodling can be a representation of your dreams and your thoughts and can even bring you some new ideas. Creative creations transpires the best when your active mind operates with lesser filters and when your active mind is dimmed by your subconscious thinking. Now doodling or scribbling on white blank sheet of paper is not just a silly hobby but rather it can have a deeper significance. It could be a pointer to your unconscious, to your dreams, your thoughts and ideas and the deep rooted feelings that may be stored or canned in your inner world. Now doodling is a powerful tool for inner engineering and can help you organize your thinking abilities. Though Leonardo received no formal education beyond the basic reading, writing and mathematics, his father appreciated his artistic talent and got him appointed as an apprentice at the young age of 15 years. Leonardo was born in Italy and lived till 1519. 